This is Goku Sun DBZ, and welcome back to Video Game Pickups. First, I'm showing off two recent movie pickups, and then get to this is going to be Sony PlayStation Edition. Because, like last time, it was only Xbox games, this time it's only Sony games. So, with that said, first off, the two recent pickups Dumbo, which I thoroughly enjoyed, and I can't believe I found this dirt cheap. And next is still currently my number one favorite movie of the year. Fighting with my family. The story of, of course, the former professional wrestler, Paige. It's an awesome movie. If you haven't seen, check it out. Also, I love the appearances on and off with The Rock. First up of the pickups. is Ninja Gaiden Sigma which is basically just a remastered version of Ninja Gaiden Black from the original Xbox. Of course the series of Ryu Hayabusa. Now I do eventually want to get this game on the original Xbox but found this and I've actually got with this in double pack Ninja Gaiden 3 but I'm curious to try the remastered version of this game since this version is in HD but like I said with it Ninja Gaiden 3 I still need to get my hands on Ninja Gaiden 2 I've heard very much mixed opinions overall for Ninja Gaiden 3 I will say I have played Ninja Gaiden 2. I liked it. Dare I say I might have liked Ninja Gaiden 2 more than the original. But I will say if you like difficult games, this is a game for you. I mean, this game was the hard game before Dark Souls. Really, I guess you could call Dark Souls the newer version of Ninja Gaiden since it predates Dark Souls by quite a few years. Next up, pickups, the original Dead Space. Why I decided to leave this original price tag on here, even though I got for a lot less than this, is because it's a blockbuster price tag, which I think on its own is just a little part of history in my opinion which is why that sticker will stay on there but I've never actually played the original Dead Space I've played Dead Space 2 I've really enjoyed it I only played a little bit of Dead Space 3 I have mixed opinions on that game sometime in the future I might actually give my opinions in a review but we'll see but yeah, it's nice to finally have the original Dead Space game. The last of the PS3 pickups is, of course, the God of War Saga. Now, unfortunately, I thought, actually, it would include all five games physical, but instead it only gives you the trilogy physical, and then a DLC code for the other two. So, I will unfortunately have to try to go out and find a physical copy of God of War Origins Collection, which is the PS3 ports of the PSP games. But still, it's nice to at least have remastered versions of God of War 1 through 3 now on PS3. That is nice to have this in my collection. Eventually, I will get God of War Origins. And finally, a recent pickup for my PS Vita, a new addition to my fine game collection for the Vita, Injustice Gods Among Us Ultimate Edition, which I already have this game on the PS3 and digital on PS4, so I thought it was about time I picked it up for the Vita. So, that now puts me, I believe, at about seven fine games on the Vita. I will say, at least the Vita does have some solid overall fighting games. 
Now these last two are somewhat controversial, probably games overall crowdfunded games originally. Yes, I actually picked up a physical copy of Mighty Number no. 9 and a physical copy of Ukulele. One, because I am a fan of old school rare and I've always enjoyed those classic platformers and I wanted to try Ukulele out. I haven't actually played the game yet. I actually picked this up uh, brand new factory sealed for $15. So that's a pretty good deal. And believe it or not, Mighty Number no. 9 I got for 99 cents. Yes, I paid literally base might as well say one dollar for mighty number no. nine so yeah i got it dirt cheap probably because not many people i guess really want the game but i was willing to go out of my way and have it for my physical collection because i've played it digital and personally i don't get all the hate towards mighty number no. nine i actually had fun with it is it as good as the Mega Man games no it's not but don't put too much faith into a crowdfunded game. Though, to be fair, I have a decent amount of faith and hope for ukulele, and I'm crossing my fingers that I'm not let down by it. But anyways, I'll see everyone next time. Same YouTube time, same YouTube channel.